Hi, Sean here, your RSA approved driving instructor with PassFirstTime.ie, Ireland's online driving school. And in this lesson, we take a look at learner drivers. Most of our lessons are to do with the driving test because our online training is to do with pre-test preparation at the moment, even though we do plan uh, to do a short course on the basics of EDT in the not too distant future. So I've had a good few questions from my own pupils this week regarding the EDT. So we're going to take a look at five of them for you. The first one we look at is should you keep your own logbook? Second one, can you change your instructor during the EDT? Can you switch instructors if you if you want to? We'll take a look at that. Number three is how do you get a, a replacement logbook? If you happen to lose your logbook, how do you get a new one? Number four, will I need more than 12 lessons? That's a great question. And our final question, how long will I be waiting for a driving test after my EDT is complete? Mm -hmm. We will answer that and more throughout this video. So let's start with number one. Number one is, should you keep your own EDT book? And the answer is yes, yes, yes. Absolutely 100% yes. As a matter of fact, the RSA, uh, they didn't do this right from the start, but in recent times, in black print, in the front of your book, it says to be retained by the new learner driver. That means you should keep it. Your driving instructor, nobody else should keep it but yourself and you should bring it along to every driving lesson. That means if you change instructors for any reason, or for instance, if your instructor was not well, or if your instructor may be retired halfway through, the EDT uh, sessions with you, you have your book and you can move on. You're not trying to get your book back in any way. So always keep your own logbook. If you do not have your logbook at the moment, make sure you get it over the next couple of lessons and keep it. Just bring it back to every fresh lesson. And that way, when you complete the 12 lessons, you can check along the way, by the way, on your EDT portal to see if your lessons are being uploaded as well. A lot of learners don't know that. You can check uh, on the RSA website to see if your lessons are being uploaded so that you can uh, ensure that all lessons are there. When you apply for your test, if all your lessons, the 12 lessons aren't completed in the EDT portal, then your test will not be scheduled and you will have to go back and try and sort it. And really, you don't want any problems like that. You'd preferably not want to lose your EDT book as well, by the way. We'll have a look at how you get a new one later on in these questions. But mind it, keep it safe. It is your book and it's an important document. From there, we go to question number two. Can you change your instructor during your EDT? So after four lessons, if for whatever reason you feel like you want to change instructor, the answer is... Let me see. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, you can. You can change your, you could do a one lesson with 12 different instructors if you wanted to. There is no reason at all that you need to stay with the one instructor. If you're happy with that instructor, by all means, stay with that instructor. But if you want to change for any reason, that is your decision and there is no bother changing. And that is why you should be maintaining and keeping your own logbook as well, so that if you do want to change, uh, you can do it without any hassle whatsoever. Next question up, how do you get a replacement logbook? So you do lose your logbook, okay, and you're looking for a new one. The answer is don't worry too much because you can get a new one, and there's a process to getting a new one. And the easiest way to go about getting a new one is to Google it. <laughs> how do I get a replacement logbook? And I actually did this earlier on to see how you would get on running through the steps. And have a look at this. This is how I got on. Okay, here we are in Google search. I have keyed in lost EDT book and the first result is lost logbook RSA. So I just click on this and it gives you a form, okay? And this form is the form that you need to fill out. All right, um, this is the form here. Your driver number, uh, your name and current address, date of birth, your lost EDT logbook, you will need that number. Uh, IBT, by the way, is for a motorbike, just in case. Some people do contact me and they say, what is the IBT number if they've lost their car logbook? This is for a motorbike, so you don't have to worry about it in a car. The replacement logbook number you will get from your driving instructor, that is the new number. Uh, the ADI name, the name of your instructor, 
and your ADI will give you his or her reference number. The next part is to be completed by the Gardaí and you will get it stamped at the Garda station and then you return it to the address at the bottom of the page, the driver education section in Ballina in County Mayo. So that is what you do if you lose your learner logbook. It is that easy. You just print that off and send it off. Now, the RSA sometimes will reply uh, telling you that they have received it. Sometimes they don't tend to reply, but the easiest way to test it is to wait a week or two and to get your instructor, your instructor will know this anyway, to try and upload a lesson uh, via the new book, via the new number. And as long as that lesson goes through, it means all is well and your new book is registered and underway. So... It is that easy. Just simply Google lost EDT book and take it from there. Next question. Will I need more than 12 lessons? Now, the answer to this is for the majority of people. Yes, 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 you will. Um, I've come across very few people who needed just the bare 12 lessons and didn't need more either to continue their learning experience or to top up their experience pre a driving test date. Um, quite a few people will need somewhere between the 12 and 30, sometimes more than 30, 40 plus lessons. Everybody is different. There is no set amount of lessons. There are no stats, I don't think, here in Ireland, but in the UK, I believe the recommended stats are that from zero to driving test, people would take somewhere around 47 lessons plus 20 hours of practice in another car. So that's 67 hours of driving they recommend in the UK. So you can tot that up for yourselves. But the 12 is just a guide. You just get the bare basics and the 12 lessons usually. And most people, you'll know yourself after the 12 anyway, will need more lessons. How many more you will need, that will vary from pupil to pupil. From there we go to how long will I be waiting for my driving test in 2021? So if you were to apply this week, how long would you be waiting? Nobody knows. I'm optimistic on this, I must say. I see a lot of pessimistic talk in, in the media at the moment. But I'd be on the optimistic side because the RSA have put into place 40 new examiners and these examiners have actually started work already. So in a lot of test centres where you would have had one or two examiners in normal times, shall we put it. Uh, now there are up to five examiners and maybe six in places. So the amount of tests is increasing fairly radically. So I would be hopeful, and I'm guessing here, I really am, nobody really knows for sure, but I would be guessing that within a couple of months, they're going to make good inroads into this uh, driving test backlog and that the waiting time should go down. How long it will take, uh, I'd want a crystal ball really to tell you. But I would think in January or February, I'd love to make another video next January or February and then take a look at the waiting times. And optimistically, I would like to be saying that they are down to somewhere between six, eight and 12 weeks maybe. And I think everybody would be happy enough with that. They are questions that I have been asked this week on my own lessons. Hopefully you have found them helpful. Uh, if you want more tips and tricks, check out the website passfirsttime.ie. And from the website, you can also download our free mini course, which is Driving Test Secrets. So log on to the website and check that out. Also, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It does help us to build the channel. It means that more and more people will see the videos and if you can share it that would be absolutely brilliant thank you for watching all the best with your driving test if you have it coming up uh, check back through the other videos we have a huge amount of videos now at this stage going back looking at all aspects of the driving test and most important of all if you are driving safe motoring to you till our next video bye now.